Hey guys, okay, we're gonna start this part out really strong with Lily Mayo. And then it's gonna go downhill to just a bunch of random books. I have a lot of randoms, and what can I say? So we're gonna start with Lily Mayo, and then like I said, go downhill into randoms. All right, we are gonna start first with a million kawaii cuties. Um, I have done nothing in this book. Nothing. It's adorable, yes. But again, I don't draw, I'm not drawn to Lily Mayo all the time. Have to be in a specific mood, I guess. Okay, we have a million bears. This one, I've had for a while, like this was the first one I got, I'm pretty sure. I did this double page. I don't think it's supposed to be a double page, but I did them at the same time. Crayola Super Tips, gel pens, pencil. And I did this one. I do have a couple whips in this book also, being that it was the first book I got by her. Okay. Plus, I literally don't have room to do all this. Okay, I have a million unicorns. Again, did a couple. If anybody wants to buddy color Lulu Mayo, please sign me up because um, I have quite a few of her books with not a lot done. So, and then this one, which it crinkled a lot with that watercolor, but I think it's cute still. Okay. We have a million mermaids and embarrassingly enough, I've only done one and it's this one. And I love the color palette and how she turned out. That background is pan pastel. And I'm obsessed. Okay, a million sloths. I think that this one is my favorite, which is why I've done the most in it. So you got both of these pages done side by side. Very, very cute. Then we've got these side by side. That one's got some metallic watercolor. I've got this one done. Um, this is one, like I said, where I've done a lot in it. Um, it is one, it is probably my favorite one by her. And the pages are just stinking cute. I need to do this one. And then I have this one, which I'm pretty sure was a buddy color with Jamie. A lot of these were, to be honest. All right, so that's the A Million Sloths. And then I have A Million Magical Creatures. I really love this one too. But again, I have to be in a mood to color it. I did this with all pastel tint castle art pencils. But this one has really, really cute whimsical things so you can do them whatever color I just don't again gravitate towards that all right now we are into some randoms this is spiroglyphics music icons by Thomas Pavitt and this is a huge book so I've done this one I've started on this one it's been going like for a long time because I don't work in this book as much as I used to and then I've done that one so I, I do like working in these, but they're huge. Huge, I tell you. Yeah, I'm going to start dropping them on the floor so I can have more space. I have spiroglyphics animals. I haven't done anything in it. Done nothing. I have spiroglyphics um, cities, I think. Yeah. Again, haven't done anything in it. So, nothing to see there. Okay, I have Color Me Wild. Um, this book is really neat, and this is the only one I have like it. So it has the picture, and they're geometric looking, but it gives you a natural palette you can use, or it gives you a vivid palette. So like on this one, I did the vivid palette. So it's really neat. Like again, natural palette, vivid palette. I'm probably going to do them the vivid palettes more or less, but yeah, I haven't worked in that one in forever. Okay, we have the Outside the Lines Coloring Collection. This is um, two books combined. 
huge. And it is a bunch of different artists. I actually scored it at Dollar General, which was crazy. So this is a bunch of different artists in one book. So I've done this one. And I want to say, yeah, on the back of the page, it tells you the artist and their information. And then I did this one. So, I, I thought I had done more in there, but I guess I haven't. But the styles are, like, so different in that book from page to page. Okay, we have Kawaii Kitty's Coloring. This one I got at Five Below, and I have not colored in it. But it is cute, and it has different styles. So, I would really like to go at it with some gel pens, to be honest, but... That is that one. All right, we have Marty Noble's Day of the Dead. Um, and nothing is complete in here, of course. Okay. We have Calm Color by Number by David Woodruff. I did two pages in here. I've done, this was all Crayola Super Tips. I don't like it. It's streaky. And then this one was all Prismacolor pencils. So I've done both of those. All right, this is a fun book. Like I said, when I tell you random, sticker by number. So this is really cool because you have the pages that are numbered with the stickers, but you also have some um, color by numbers. So I'm almost done with this book, to be honest. Like here's the stickers, they're numbered. You put them onto the page. And yeah, of course you have some like activities, but I'm doing the stickers and the color by number and calling it done. Okay, this is um, a series that they've had at Dollar Tree for a while. They have color by number and they have um, just regular in. So they have two different volumes this is Patterns Volume 2, and I've done two, but the, yeah, I only have the color by number ones, uh, so that's one of them, and then here's another. So, I'm going to click through these. This is Animals uh, Volume 2, and I haven't done anything in it, but they are, like, the pages are so cute. Okay, um, this is the for the original patterns one, and I did this one. We have the florals. This is the original florals. Haven't done anything. Okay, we have the relax original. Haven't done anything. Y'all, when I tell you I'm crazy, I'm crazy. Okay, we have the animals original. I've done two. Of course, I had to do the elephant. And I did the sloth. And what you're seeing here is a fox that was started and the marker kept running out. So I got frustrated and quit. So that's me. Okay, sloth. All right. We have geometric. I had this whole series from Dollar Tree, but I got rid of it. I was like, I'm not going to use it. The geometrics I really do like. So this is the potential of getting rid of also, but I'm gonna keep it for now. I have the expanded edition, 150 geometric patterns by Polly Jenkins. I don't even know if they're making books anymore. I've only done one. And this one took forever, but these are like, seriously, they're just a bunch of geometric patterns. And the book is huge, it's a monster. Okay, so I have the Mandala Coloring Book by Jim Gogarty. And I got this one at Ollie's when I first started coloring. So I colored a lot in here, guys. A lot, and you're gonna see that. I mean, this is one that I could probably finish realistically. Um, there are some where I started a, a Mandala with pencils and I, who knows why I did that? I don't know. I really don't. But I did a whole mandala with pencil on this, apparently. So, I mean, it's a lot of fun, though. I haven't colored in this in so long. But the pages are numbered, which is nice. 
So I've done one, what? One through 43. <laughs> and then there, there's a couple I did. Like this one, I wrote the note that I started it with neon pencils. But, all right, so we got this one. Guys, I like went ham on this book. I started putting the tabs in and I was like, wait a minute, I just need to put where they the pages start and where they stop because I'm gonna use like all my tabs. Although I'm reusing the tabs, guys, don't get me wrong. For every single part of this collection, it's been the same tabs. Um, Except for the cheap Dollar Tree ones that just barely stick, like these. I mean, they don't stick worth it. Oh, look. A freaking whip. But this book was a... Oh, look. Not when I just went all glitter gel pen. Nuts. Okay, and that's it. That tab is to know where I left off. Um, so, yeah, this one has a lot of pages. Let's see what it, you've got here. It's got, oh, you know what though? Technically it has 205, but it goes eight, it counts the back as a page too. So it's probably about half that. Oh, it says $100 million coloring pages. So, all right. We have the Ninja Kitties by Kaomi Harai. And this one's cool. It gives you like the little, let me show you, the little stories about them in the front. So if you want to color them to match. But they're like Ninja Kitties. So they're cute. Okay, we have two different anime coloring books from the Dollar Tree. Um, these, again, maybe getting rid of, but I did flip throughs of them on my channel. But I just haven't colored anything. Sorry for my tummy grumbling. So, we'll see. Those may stay or they may go. I don't know. Okay, Bucky's. Because I had to. Like, it has all things Bucky's in it. Can we... Like, this beach time... And the birthday one. So I need to color me in that one. All right. Frosted Cookies and Cakes by Alice Mills Publishing. I, I work in these and from the back to the front. So this is why it's in the back. This is on the premium paper. So it is shiny. Hard to see, I'm sure. But a quick show. I love that pinata. I haven't worked in these in a while, while, while. All right, so there's that one. And then we have the um, Kawaii Cuties cross stitch. Again. I hope y'all can see them okay. Not too dark on the background. Okay. All right. And then we have a couple of random. This one again is from Ollie's. Those are colored pencils, but I think they're cute. So I left them. We have pop star. We have the pop star and the cleaning. We have mustache. And we have color by number. So this book is really fun. Actually, it's one of those coloring pads. Okay, these are what is um, paint with water. So we have Unicorn Universe. I did one. But again, you have the page like this. When you touch the lines, it's colored. So it'll bleed in and make color, watercolor. It's really cool. All right, we have Be Happy, Just Add Water. I have three. I had fun right when I got these books. I had so much fun. 
with it. I really did. Okay, and then we have the ones from Dollar Tree that are, this is the Christmas collection. Uh, I have Christmas cheer. I did two. And the other ones I didn't work in. These are just for kid ones. So take that with what you will. But they are fun. They are still fun. So there is the Christmas cheer. There's the let it snow. And they do all, I don't know if the pages overlap or not, guys. I really don't. Um, so keep that in mind. They may overlap. Let it snow. Merry and bright. Which I didn't work in and I thought I did. And then deck the halls. All right, that is it for this cluster of parts. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later on.